is a symbol of a lover who is, who is uh, expressing its uh, love. Now, what is this wine? What is the service of wine? Wine is needed by the nightingale to be able to suffer the hardships of the ascent, ascending road going back to unity to the one. So if you are sober, you can't suffer the hardships of love. It is better that you are uh, uh, intoxicated. And that is why they call, uh, actually they call self in every, almost in every sonnet of Hoffer or Sadi or Rooney, you, you will see the word Sati or Sati or cupbearer. The cupbearer. They constantly call the cupbearer. Why? Because they want to be beside themselves, not to be all engaged in secular attachments secular entanglements. They want to get free so that they could back to their beloved. So <clears throat> this is what in English literature or in European literature, when they want to create a poetic work, a great poetic work, what they do? What what do they do? They call the muse. Oh for a muse. The muse is actually the the goddess of poetry the goddess of all arts, the, the, the nine sisters' muses. What do they do? They give you inspiration. They make you beside yourself with joy. And then they do the job of this wine, actually. Because if you are constantly thinking about your limited being, which is nothing but uh, just one point, then you cannot get the whole. You want to go back to the whole, to the one. One is the whole. So you have to uh, to w make yourself wider and wider and wider until you cover the whole world. Because at first you love this flower, and then you love this bigger circle, and then a bigger circle, and a bigger circle, until you come to love all. As Fadi says, the jahan for Ramadan and the jahan for Ramadus. Or shagam bar hame aalam, shahame aalamadus. I am a lover of the whole world, because the whole world are reflecting the face of my beloved. So, uh, <coughs> Amen. Now, so there is a, there is a journey, a very hard journey, but a journey full of joy back to one and everything which is good is returning back to one or getting closer to one what does religions of the world do they say look at the world it is multiplicity it is the many look at the world but in the heart of the world you will see the one so gradually from the many you go back to one. So in this journey, you need a carriage. You, you need uh, what is your chariot. The chariot is a story in Persian literature. Persian poets are storytellers most of the time. Of course, everywhere in the world, uh, writers, I mean poets, are storytellers. Actually, uh, Odyssey and Iliad, the first great uh, heritage of the, the national poets of Persia, the Homer of Iran, he is a storyteller, because from the beginning to the end, it is the stories of uh, man clashing, man clashing with the devil, with demons. And you will see the, the divine comedy of Dante in Shahnameh. His, his work is called The Book of Kings, or Shahnameh. Uh, because it's all the stories of kings, of ancient kings of Persia. But in all these stories, you will constantly see man and devil, man and demons, and giants on the way. So, and there are three stages. Sometimes the devil rules over man. That is hell. Hell is when the devil and his rulers 
in the society. And then when man and devil, man is not a captive, is not a prisoner by the devil, but is clashing. It is clashing and is fighting against the devil. So it is purgatory. Purgatory. When you are fighting against the, uh, with the help of angels, you are fighting against the devil. And that is what you see in Shahnameh. The story of the seven labors of seven labors of uh, Rostam, which is very similar to the seven labors of Hercules. Uh, I mean, the twelve labors of Hercules. And then, what is heaven? Heaven is when man is the ruler, and the devils are uh, captives. The devils are in the service of man. Of course, when the man uh, is victorious, when man is victorious, he doesn't kill the devil. But he puts them in his own service, like Solomon, for example. Solomon, the Solomon.